Hello there everyone and welcome to the Salem Speedway for round number three of the ARCA series presented to you by Verizon here as we get ready for some more short track racing under the lights. These um, ARCA series drivers coming up from the Five Flags Speedway where it was Nathan Fisher capturing the win. Congratulations to him there. So we are now already on the third race on the season here for season one. As on your front row is going to be Zachary Delelos grabbing the pole, his second pole in uh, three races already. And to his outside is going to be Bobo Jones in the eighth pole. Drivers looking for um, a strong run here. Then you got Russell and um, Monaco right here starting in row number two. Row number three you have Stephen Wallace Jr. and Mitchell Collins. And then we have the five of Henry Williams and then the zero of Sebastian Cucolon. Then we go to the 25, and then the 7 of um, Alex Pinaco, Nathan Fisher, and the 9 last races winner, and then Tyler Markell as you take a, um, take a look at the rest of your starting lineup here. So, getting ready for some more racing here under the lights. As so we're going to get ready to look for the commands here at the Salem Speedway. So the engines have been fired up and drivers are now rolling off. Hopefully no one have any problems. Nope, doesn't look like it. So everyone was able to get going here. So um, as we get ready to go here, Zachary Delello looking for win number two of the season. He won Daytona. Bubba Jones hasn't won yet, but he's been there um, near the end. Just couldn't really get to the um, to the lead in time. Jones, who's been very consistent along with Delello. Both drivers hoping to keep their consistency going, but the pace car is already in as the green flag is out. And already Delano off to a big, strong lead. And whoa, look at the 15 of Eric Monaco. Really aggressive move right there. He made a little bit of contact with Russell, and Monaco's going to get into the wall now along with a couple other drivers. So now it's going to be Bubba Jones trying to hunt down Zachary Delello in the 20. Dom, both drivers were the most dominant drivers at Daytona. So it's no surprise to see them run one and two right now. Two, two Toyotas running the show. Back here, three wide and a car into the wall. That's the 12 of Cade Rue. No caution. Oh, and another car down there. Raymond Fisher in the 23. Not sure what. Not, not sure what's going on with Fisher right there, but no caution is still green here as um, Zachary Delano in the 20 continues to lead. And he's just been so consistent lately along with this, this, these top three drivers, I believe is actually how they finished at Daytona. Russell currently running strong in the fourth position. Oh, and the 44 is on pit road getting right side tires along with Fisher. Not, sure what's going on with those drivers right there. Bubba Jones continuing to try and hunt down that 20, trying to get past him here. Trying to take You're that lead. Yeah, he's trying to take that lead away. He don't want to burn the tires out too soon. Just take a look at our spectator cam here. You watch these drivers go all the way around this track. And the corners here are really high, really banked track <laughs> as Russell trying to work his way underneath Eric Monaco just can't find a run because they're pretty much single file for now and another car on pit road that's a 46 Delello continuing to hold the lead there's Fisher right there in the 23 I believe he's a couple laps down it's a tough break for Fisher these um more experienced drivers haven't really been um showing anything really and I know it's only where we need to three races in but these uh, younger drivers have been dominating so far 
Delello now coming up on Raymond Fisher. There he goes to the inside. He's going to try and dive down there. Will Fisher let him by is the question. He couldn't really get the run right there. Monaco try to go underneath the eight who is running it high right now. That's um, Bobo Jones right there trying to find somewhere around the 20. See Monaco running a lower line than Jones is. And it's allowing um, Monaco to get a bit more ground. But Jones with a huge run on the outside. He's maybe maybe the outside line will work for him here. He slides out of turn four, and the caution is out. Nope, nope, thought I saw yellow. So we're still green here. Fisher kind of kind of punting away from these guys just a tad bit. Oh, we'll jump. oh, and there's the yellow. Oh, and the 19. Juan Garcia having some problems here. Maybe I think he went around as a little bit of damage to his car. And so the yellow flag is out, and we're going to round these drivers up here for the first time tonight. So um, Fisher will able, be able to um, come back around. Good for him. Not sure what happened to the 19, but the caution flag is out. We're going to try and get a look at the replay, see what happened while these guys these guys are coming on pit road. Actually, we're going to watch them um, pit here. So will these drivers go with four or two tires? Looks like it's two tires for Delello. You're hearing his um, crew talking to him right there. Will anyone else go with two tires? Get the lights and the gas on at this time. And maybe that eight is probably gonna tighten this car just a little bit. He was loose on that run right there. Towards the running, towards the end of the run, he got a uh, real loose. He was sliding off the corners. As you watch as these guys come in, Monaco's getting right side. So is Russell Jones and Delello. Wallace Jr. too. See, he's getting right side, and yep, looks like it's right side for these guys. Bobo Jones a bit slow coming off a of pit road as is Eric Monaco getting getting up to second. Not sure what happened to Jones right there, but they were a bit slow, and Mitchell Collins now up to third. So, um, let's see what happened to the 19. He got into the wall. Oh, he got into the wall and just got into Cam Wilson, and then the 24 of uh, Joey Pinky. And he hit that wall down there. Wilson also got, in, got a piece of it. Another look at it right here. He was just running really high. The car just got sideways. You can see right there. He just slid. Got up into the wall. And Pinky nowhere to go. Wilson you didn't even see it coming. So Wilson just got a bit of damage. And so did Pinky and Warren Garcia. Oh, and Cam Wilson with um, even more damage on his car. So... Getting ready to go back green here. As um, two cars are going to be on the inside, two lap cars. That's the 46 right there. Joey Carter and Ramian Fisher. Delello still your leader. Monaco second and, and Collins third. As we get ready to go back green one more time. There it is, the green flag. Great start for the 46 right there. Right, he's got to hope for a quick caution. Three wide Fisher sideways right there. They're able to make it work. Delello still holds the lead. Battle for second between Mitchell Collins and Eric Monaco. Collins sideways right there. And Monaco with the run on the outside. They're still side by side. Jones trying to get around the lap car. Fisher in the yellow is out once again. Oh, this time it's a 73 of Jeff Gerhan. Tough break for him. Slow down. And the leaders are going to wreck. And the leaders are just piling in. Oh, big hit right there for Young. Oh, man. Not sure what was going on right there. Why didn't anyone go to the outside? It's Delello with heavy, heavy damage. Your leader. Cade Rue and Vol contact on pit road between Wilson and Wallace Jr. And Rue, his day, his night is done. The 18 also involved. Casey Russell right there. The 6. The 78. Go forth and a Winkle right there. There's Monaco. His day, his night is most likely. Get up there, bud. Up. Everybody's up As you can see right there, Monaco, their, their night is done. They have heavy damage and... Collins was able to barely escape right there. Another look at it. What happened? 
Oh, Dylan Young. He got into the, to the uh, 03 of, um, oh, man, a big hit right there by Stephen Wallace Jr. was running so well. And Crouch ended up getting turned right there. Then the 73 gets collected. Cody Goforth also involved. And 73 was stuck right there. Garen was. And then you see the leaders coming in. Maybe they didn't. Their spotter didn't say anything. And just no one could slow down in time. I'm not. There's no one paying attention. Because both leaders are now up. Eric Monaco. And see right there. A big hit from Dylan Young. Young that is going to be. He's going to have a heavy damage to his 99 Toyota right there. Tough break for those drivers. So, the caution is out for the second time, I believe, here tonight. As it's Mitchell Collins in the three out front. We'll be right back after this. Getting ready to go back green here with Mitchell Collins, your leader. Ah, going to the green. And um, hopefully they can keep it green for the rest of the way. Caution now will probably end the race. As this Collins leading the 40, the 5, and others, the green flag is back out. Mitchell Collins got a lap car between him and Russell. So right now he's in a really good spot. Hopefully these guys can... Stay green, and as I said that, we got a call around. That's the 10 of Markel, and Davis involved, and the caution is going to be out. Race is over. Yellow's out. Yellow's out. The, the race is over, and I think Mitchell Collins is going to get it unless he pits. Oh, man, and, and once again, the 3 of Ben Crouch, he's stuck on the track. And drivers are going to go around, and that's what they should have done the first time. But Ben Crouch having some problems here. Is, he's now on pit road, but 54 and um, the 10 of Tana Markel. We're going to try and get ourselves a replay, see what happened here. Um, oh, Davis looks like she got in, or looks like he got into the 10 of Tana Markel and turned him. I don't think anyone else got involved. Great job for everyone else to. Um, Avoid that wreck right there. And then up here, Ben Crouch looks like he just got into the wall and just made contact with Stephen Wallace Jr. And Casey Russell also got, got into him right there. Everyone else was able to go around them. So the caution is out. The race is going to end on a yellow. As it's going to be a three of Mitchell Collins out front. We'll be back after this. Welcome back here to the Salem Speedway as it's Mitchell Collins in the three out front. This race is going to end on the yellow. He has not signaled to go down pit road. I don't think he will. As we'll see here. It's not official until he crosses the line. Collins, who's been trying so hard to win, has, has yet to win here in the Norla League. And it looks like he's going to do it. He's not signaling to go down pit road. As race number three is going to go to Mitchell Collins as he wins it at Salem. It's over, right? We won? Yeah, we won. We won. And you can tell from him and the crew, they're so happy to get that win. Collins finally scoring the win here. It's going to come at Salem. It's Christian Russell going to get a strong second place finish. Henry Williams third. Sebastian Kukul on fourth. Nathan Fisher fifth. Another top five for him. Buffalo Jones sixth. Great top ten for him. Alex Parker, Joshua Hyatt, Dylan Young, and Juan Garcia. Your rest of your top ten. Nick Smith 11th and everyone else is a lap down or out of the race. Pretty sure it's not the way Collins wanted to finish the race, but it's a win nonetheless. I'm pretty sure you'll be happy with that. So, um, congratulations to Mitchell Collins on scoring his first Arca Series win. Tough play for Tony Green, Tony Green Alex Benyako, and others. They're going to finish to the, in the rear of the field. Job well done for um, Mitchell Collins right there. He's going to score his first win and he's going to burn it down here at Salem. Off the block, fellas. Carl, you're the man. I can't tell you enough. You're the man. Way to do the work, buddy. You can tell how happy him and that team is. 
Oh yeah, they're super happy about that. So thank you guys as always for watching as next week or next round as we move on to Talladega, our second super speedway race of the season. It should be a wild card race right there. Anyone can do it. Looking forward to see how these drivers take on a Talladega super speedway. Until then, I'll see you guys.